it's never a good idea to trade your best player to a rival team. The Pittsburgh Steelers apparently are operating as such. The Steelers will listen to trade offers from 27 NFL clubs for wide receiver Antonio Brown, the MMQB's Albert Breer reported Thursday. The four teams they won't do business with their three other AFC North competitors, and the New England Patriots. Also in the game plan, four teams the Steelers won't deal Brown to, Ravens, Browns, Bengals and Patriots. https colon slash slash t dot co slash v v c a 8 x b p o albert breer at albert breer february 15 2019 pittsburgh's stance should surprise no one but it's a reminder the team still views new england as its biggest threat in the afc while the steelers upset the patriots in 2018 the pats won the team's previous five meetings and have had a stranglehold on the conference for the last several years The downside of that success, Patriots fans can stop dreaming about Tom Brady throwing touchdown passes to the best receiver in the NFL. New England spending big on Brown seemed like a long shot anyway, but the 30-year-old apparently is getting serious about his trade request. He plans to meet with Steelers owner Art Rooney too to iron things out, per NFL media's Ian Rapoport. Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown will meet with team owner Art Rooney too to discuss his trade request, NFL Media's Ian Rapoport reported Friday. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Change is coming for the Patriots this offseason. Every day this week, we'll react to one area of the team that either has already undergone a shift, it is in the process of shifting, or will be shifting soon. Today we'll see what kinds of changes the Patriots could make to player contracts in order to free up some cap space ahead of the new league year, change is coming for Patriots bookkeepers. Happens every offseason, and 2019 will be no different. The team will have to make a few changes to contracts ahead of free agency if they want to have the cap space necessary to be in the mix for players on their radar. Say the Patriots would like to make a play for Trey Flowers to keep continuity in their front seven, and say they'd like to try to add both Golden Tate and John Brown to bolster their depleted receiver core. How would they do it? Could they do it? The cap hits for those players in 2019 could very well eat up every last bit of the about $18 million in cap space the Patriots have at the moment. Not ideal, especially since they'll likely want to re-sign some of their other free agents like Steven Gostkowski and Ryan Allen, have enough space to sign their rookie class, and leave some space left over for mid-season acquisitions. So what can they do? They could extend Tom Brady for another couple years, drop his base salary to the minimum of $1.03 million, and convert his remaining 2019 base salary into signing bonus prorated over the life of his new deal. The result? He gets a raise, and the Patriots get a few million in cap space, not a bad way to start. Then the Patriots can work their way down the roster, and there's more cap space to be had. For instance, Dwayne Allen was a key to the Patriots' Super Bowl victory, allowing them to get two tight ends on the field to pick apart the Rams, but with a $7.3 million cap hit for 2019, he's an obvious candidate for a contract restructure or release. Curran, how do you go about replacing the GOAT? The Patriots will have decisions to make on role players such as Adrian Claiborne and Alandon Roberts. If they're looking for more cap relief, they could free up several more million by moving on. Retirements will impact the equation here, too. If those are coming, they could mean millions more in cap space. The bottom line, there are a lot of moving parts salary cap-wise for Bill Belichick and Nick Casario to consider, but if they want to give themselves some financial flexibility ahead of the new league year, they have a variety of options to pursue in order to achieve that goal. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The New England Patriots held the Los Angeles Rams to just three points in Super Bowl 53 thanks in part to excellent preparation and defensive game planning.
but it's easier to be well prepared when your opponent doesn't show you anything new. Speaking Thursday on Barstool Sports, pardon my take podcast, Patriots linebacker Kyle Van Noy shared a pretty damning assessment of the Rams' offensive game plan and the lack of new twists it threw at New England. Yeah, I couldn't believe that, either. Like, they really didn't do not one wrinkle. I was like, what the hell? They've got so many good players, they've got so many things they've done all year, and the one play they gave us which was a wrinkle was the Brandon Cooks screen that hit for a little bit. And that was it. Cook's 19-yard gain was the third longest play for an L.A. offense that mustered just 260 total yards. At Brandon Cooks picks up big yards on the screen pass. Rams head coach Sean McVay, who called the plays in the absence of a traditional offensive coordinator, admitted he got out coached in the loss, and Van Noy's comments suggest he is right. We weren't necessarily a zone team, we didn't play zone very much all year, and in the Super Bowl, we were predominantly a zone team, Van Noy added. And that kind of probably threw him off. Like, I saw a clip of Sean McVay reading the clip, and he said, like, oh, shoot, in his head, they're running the Bears thing, or whatever the Bears did. Shout out to the Bears, baby, McVay led the Rams to the Super Bowl at age 33 in just his second season as head coach, which is no small feat. But he learned rather quickly there's another level of preparation required to beat Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Click here to download the new MyTeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.